Hello. Good morning. Good afternoon. Oh, good evening. Welcome, my dear friends. Thank you so very much for being here. Thank you for watching my channel, Ivan Atero. This is, of course, the Atero reading for Friday, June 8, 2018. Okay. Tarot spread is already waiting, but before I want to say a little bit something about astrology for this Friday, you know, a little bit to drop of astrology. And afterwards we'll talk about tarot. If you are new on my YouTube channel, welcome. This is daily tarot reading for men and women all over the world for all 12 zodiac signs. So, let's get started. Okay, my dear friends. Now, June 8th, 2018. So, what is happening on the sky? You see, there's a lot of planets, you know, and asteroids, you know, and aspects and, uh, you know, but for this Friday, I choose to talk about something which is very specific. So, um, if you regularly watch uh, YouTube channel, not only mine, but also astrologers, uh, my colleagues, most likely you already know, sun is in conjunction, um, sun is in conjunction with the Mercury in the sign of Gemini, which basically is about ideas, a very good one. Maybe only now you will be enough brave to talk about uh, idea or what basically you want to talk maybe with your partner, maybe with your family members. Maybe this is something that you want to admit to someone. Maybe someone will approach to you admitting something, you know, to you. Everything depends in which house you have this conjunction between Sun, Mercury, in a sign of Gemini. So this is this is like general, you know, reading. Also, I can see asteroid union, and also I can see in a sign of Gemini asteroid uh, talent. Uh, my dear friends, most likely you have uh, opportunity to learn about something. Uh, soon we will have a new moon in a sign of Gemini. This is all about learning, and uh, oh, for some of you, maybe this is about teaching if you're old enough if you're educated enough so learn as much as you can for some of you uh, this is you using a uh, talent of some kind could be writing uh, could be speaking talent uh, because mercury is microphone so if you are uh, clever enough if you consider for yourself to be smart enough maybe this is you on a stage you know somewhere in a world maybe you are a pianist uh, maybe you dance, maybe you write, maybe, maybe, maybe you talk, maybe this is you dancing, maybe you are a ballet a dancer or, you know, something which is like, you know, to this type of artistry. So you will have a chance to perform, you know, and it doesn't have to be on a stage. Uh, this also could be a very important communication between you and, you know, some person that basically you care so much but above all, union asteroid talent, um, asteroid uh, Mercury and the Sun being together, it means also very important person in your life now is coming. Maybe just now you will discover group of people, finally someone who will say, "Oh my, you are so good at it!" At it, you know, some talent or some skill that basically you have, your hobby or. And because of that, you will have opportunity to earn money. Venus is, of course, still in the sign of Cancer. So you are very sensitive, uh, you know, uh, thinking about your past. But today, I really don't want to talk about this. Today, I want to say a little something about Moon just entered the sign of Aries. Uh, also, we have asteroid Lucifer and we have asteroid Chiron. Uh, there is also asteroid Juno and asteroid Vulcano. Guys, this is extremely explosive uh, energy, but not in a negative sense. Moon, we can consider, okay, Moon is not 
uh, does not have a source of light because moon take light from the sun. Okay, everybody knows that, you know. But what I want to say, we can consider and we do, uh, you know, for for moon to be like, uh, you know, a planet um, uh, of light, not natural, not of his own, but okay, never mind. Lucifer is also very important little asteroid, which basically are talking about your inner light, you see? And the Chiron, and everything is happening in the first house, so this is the most important for this story, for this Friday, and this energy will stay for couple for couple of days. Now, this is you finally discovering, discovering something very important inside of you. Um, and this is this is more or less uh, connected with your image because uh, Aries is your first uh, house, you know. So you will discover something uh, that basically you can, maybe this is you self-promoting yourself because you will be so much more courageous or maybe you will meet, you know, someone who will say that to you. But you are so beautiful, you can be a model or you are so smart, you know. Don't wait, you know, develop something, you know, any type of, you know, skill that basically you already possess inside of you. So, uh, you know, Chiron, uh, Chiron is a wounded healer, but also Chiron is a asteroid which talking about education. So, most likely from this Friday on until at least one week, maybe even 10 days, maybe even two weeks in front of you. There is a very special, important period in your life when you will discover something and finally, you know, like Eureka, you will discover something beautiful inside of you. And if you are skilled enough, if you are um, diligent enough, most likely you will make a money out from it. This is like little, 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 you know, something. So moon in a sign of Aries, of course, now you can be, you know, like a fighter. This is you fighting for you. You know, even people will see uh, on your uh, on your facial expression that basically this is you changing. You talk, to, you know, so very uh, you know, much more faster than before, you don't have a problem to fight for you, ho and hopefully you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna uh, waste this, uh, you know, uh, energy on fighting with someone, I mean, I don't think so, but if you need, and if you want to, um, to protect yourself, now basically you can do that, okay, enough uh, about astrology, oh my god, eight minutes okay this is too much now let me start with tarot but you know uh you know a couple of days i didn't say i didn't talk about astrology you know at all because i was too busy simply i was too busy you know and i received you know uh, many private you know messages even uh, what about astrology you know uh please you know uh we want to listen you know so you know i cannot promise that i'll talk about astrology every single day but, you know, every now and then I will mention, uh, you know, something about astrology. Okay, so uh, after my shuffling, I've got those five tarot cards. To tell you the truth, I was amazed, you know, I was basically stunned, you know, uh, when I saw this woman and a man. Because we have a match, guys, we have a match. But what exactly those two people are doing together and this is like first what i noticed and then i saw oh my this is a hunter woman hunter and this is a warrior and then i open uh you know chart horoscope for friday june 8th and and then i basically say to myself ah now i now i do understand you know about synchronicity about uh transits on the sky you know uh, celestial body and basically what I've got guys for you okay I talked too much okay let's get started woman woman any 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 kind of woman uh, this is not this this um, tarot card is not connected with only one astrological sign this goes for every single woman out there she who runs with the wolves fearless bold relentless candid independent Men fear of you, women fear of you, but everyone wants to be like you. Honey, did you get the message? You are the ultimate woman, but takes a lot of courage to be with you and to be as you. You know, it is not easy. If you can recognize, you know, yourself, it's not easy to be you. But let me repeat once again. 
it takes a lot of courage to be also with you or to be like you. Although the reward is a really, really big. What kind of reward? Okay, to tell you the truth, uh, you know, this uh, tarot card reminds me um, uh, uh, on uh, Astrid Diana, you know. Because Astrid Diana is someone who is very, you know, uh, independent like this woman. So maybe this is you. But okay, let me put right away in front of my camera this tarot card. Mars, Eris, Scorpio, generally speaking, you know, could be any other astrological sign, any, any, any astrological sign, but this tarot card describing, you know, type of a man. So, let me read. Your lover is here. He will win your heart in a heartbeat. This man is love of your life. Possible connection and relationship from your previous life. So, maybe this is your lover, husband, from your previous life. Nobody and nothing can cut off this tie between uh, the two of you. Sexual attraction is enormous. Do not hesitate. Be fast if you want to be with him. Karmic not. You know, so there is something that needs to be, you know, untangled. So there is a karmic not. So, to tell you the truth, you know, my dear friends, you know, something important might happen during this Friday, but um, let me say one thing. You cannot put tarot reading in the box. I cannot say that what I'm saying, you know, uh, you know, today while I'm recording this video, I can't put this reading in one box. So, you know, this is not only for 8th of June. Who knows how long this energy will last. But what I'm saying, you belong to him. He belongs to you still. A relationship between this woman and man is not easy. This is not easy relationship. Maybe this is someone who is coming in your life. Maybe this tarot card represents your ex. Maybe this is your current love partner. Now, finally, let me reveal those three tarot cards. Maybe we'll get so much more information. This also could be your colleague or your boss. Okay, so what we have in here... Another synchronicity, which is weird. Knight of Cups, Major Card of the Moon, and Queen of Cups. So, what is this all about? Once again, man who is ready to offer you something. But there is something inside of you as a woman. Uh, either you do not like something. Either you doubt that he is cheating on you. Either you think that he is not over his ex. Something with Major Card of the Moon is unfinished. Something with Major Arcana, the moon is uh, wishy-washy, something is fishy, something is very, very weird, something is weird. So those, you know, uh, you know, two people, woman and a man, could be basically like, you know, a perfect match made in heaven. But there is a problem. Maybe parents on your side, maybe parents on his side, maybe this is his ex, maybe... She still wants him back, you know. So maybe, maybe you have, you know, some info. Maybe you just recently asked him, you know, uh, you know, once again, I saw on your iPhone, on your display, last call from your ex. What that means, you know? Are you cheating on me with her? And you know, this is him saying, no, but I can't do anything, you know, about it. I mean, I have a child, you know, with this woman. I cannot. Uh, you know, I cannot forget about, you know, uh, you know, previous marriage. Uh, I mean, I have a child, you know, w with that woman, you know. I need I need to to answer every single time when, when she calls, you know. And you ain't gonna like that. So, most likely, nothing of that kind is happening. Most likely, nothing. I mean, this is only me giving you an example. Could be anything else. But basically, you don't trust him you are so afraid you know uh, to go further with this love relationship because you are afraid to be hurt to tell you the truth you are not afraid to be single as well because you are fearless you are completely fearless type of a woman and he will say that to you yeah 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 i was a womanizer but this is not who i am anymore i want to be with you but you have a problem you don't 
trust me. And you know, the biggest question is the very big question, how much longer, you know, he will stay in the relationship, you know, with you, because almost every single night, you uh, every single day, you are ready to attack him. And especially if he work like a late, uh, you know, evening, you know, shift, you never know, is he on a work, working place, or maybe he is somewhere else. So, this is what it is. And if you're single, if you're single, of course, tarot, uh, tarot spread in front of my camera could be translated on a different way. If you're single, maybe you know that this man who is approaching to you could be, but doesn't have to be. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Also could be Eris. Also could be Leo. I mean, could be any other astrological sign. So most likely he is a womanizer. Or maybe he is not a womanizer anymore and he will approach to you but you will have like uh like uh you know big fear inside of you uh you know to simply give your heart away so if you're single if you're single uh talk with him over and over and over and over again you know uh, so everything during this friday everything is possible additional message is open up honey open up yes a lot of fears inside of you everybody can see that everybody can see that most likely you already have a marriage uh in your life history and you have your hurts and you are simply afraid to open up but honey let me give you one advice you cannot stay in this state of your being you know like major akara the moon so you need to open yourself up sooner or later. So important conversation is here coming to you. But nothing good will happen if you will be like, you know, closed like a book. So honey, open up. At least you can talk over and over again. And one thing more, don't give up. Honey, don't give up because you are two of a kind on some level and nobody is perfect, honey. I'm not perfect. You are not perfect. He is not perfect because nobody is perfect. Nobody. Give him a chance, you know, and simply at least what you can do. Talk and talk over and over again until you find with this person, you know, uh, common ground guys this is it mm, put your comments down below do you trust your partner when you are in a love relationship how you feel about this subject in the meantime make sure to subscribe to my channel like and share this video with your friends and book a private drink with me if you want god bless you all take care Thank you.